Bye. Kicked him out, you guys. I kicked him out because we're gonna be talking about things. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and love on these last few videos. Sean and I are super excited. I have gotten some amazing feedback that you guys are all very excited to come along this journey with us. So I wanted to kind of go ahead and share a little bit more about what I've been doing right now, preparing for pregnancy and also just my period cycle and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> so real quick before we get started, there might be some TMI stuff in there, too much information for those of you who don't know what TMI means. So if you get weirded out about like periods or talking about like womanly thing. Go ahead and just skip this video. I'm gonna be talking about how I'm planning and different things like that, what I'm doing to prepare my body. So if you're a woman who's super interested in this or if you're a husband who is trying to help his wife, then you should watch this video. If you get grossed out talking about that kind of stuff, it's okay, I understand, but probably just skip this video, okay? <laughs> if you wanna stay, of course, I appreciate it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up before you go. I'm just joking, but I would appreciate it. So I'll go ahead and start with kind of what I've been doing to prepare my body for pregnancy, and it's pretty simple. I've been taking prenatals regularly. In my prenatals, I always make sure that there's folate, which is the natural version of vitamin B9, whereas folic acid is the synthetic version. So for me, I do lean a little bit more holistic. I like to take things naturally as I possibly can. So I look for folate personally. Of course, check with your doctors on all things that you're gonna be taking. Of course, do your research. But that is something that I look for, as well as our, my midwife before and even now are recommending that I take a lot of vitamin D because typically our bodies do lack a lot of vitamin D. Even living in sunny California, I still lack the amount of vitamin D I should be getting, especially when I'm going to be pregnant soon. Those are two things I'm taking, vitamin D supplements and my prenatals. Right now I'm taking the Ollie prenatals, as well as I have been drinking raspberry leaf tea. It is said that raspberry leaf tea strengthens the uterus, the uterine lining, I believe. I used it in my last pregnancy, but towards the end to help get Jackson progressing and to cause contractions because I was going so late for my due date. So I don't know how much it helps, but I'm just drinking it like once a week. I'm cutting away caffeine as much as I can and just kind of doing the typical stuff. Another thing I'm doing is calculating things. I'm a planner through and through. I am the type of person who just like loves having a plan, a schedule, a routine. I thrive on it. When the plan changes, it takes me a little while to adapt, but I've gotten better. <laughs> With that being said, I began tracking my cycles. In my calendar, I always know when my period is. I'm not super regular. I range from 26 to 30 days. I'm not a consistent 28 day cycle. It averages in there. So it's not super regular. I do have a period every single month. When Sean and I were talking about conceiving, you know, we said sometime in July um, was when we were gonna start trying, but it was like, okay, the beginning of July, middle of July, end of July. You know, July is a long month. I went ahead and looked it up. There is a, you could just probably type in pregnancy calculator. I use this site and I'll go ahead and put up the screenshot. I use a website called Perinatology. So what I did was for my first day of my last menstrual period, I put in the date it would be, which according to my last cycle, and also that is today, I'm filming today, um, on the 22nd, I started my period today. June 22nd is the first day of my last menstrual period. So with that, that would mean I would be ovulating in a couple weeks. Usually you ovulate 14 days after the first day of your last menstrual period. If you don't know much about your cycle and your ovulation cycle and all that, I would definitely look it up. It's pretty simple, but everyone's cycle is a little bit different. There are ovulation sticks you can get to pee on and they'll tell you when you're ovulating. I've never done one, but we didn't struggle with getting pregnant with Jackson. We conceived really quickly, which I don't know if that'll be the case this time or not. Of course, it's all in God's timing. If we do start trying first week of July and we get pregnant right away, that is actually the time that I will be ovulating. So we would probably conceive right here. He says date of conception, July 6th. So sometime in there at first week I could conceive. That would put the baby's due date around March 29th, end of March. And I love that it even tells you the end of your first trimester, which would be September 21st, 2020, which would be really nice because in my head I'm thinking like, okay, well, end of first trimester, that means I'll probably be feeling good a couple weeks after that if I have really bad morning sickness, which means I'll be good for the holidays. Like I won't be sick, I'll be showing a little, it'll be cute, plan outfits, you know, all that fun stuff. Just gotta get through summer. Mainly August would be the rough month, most likely. So that is if we can see first week of July. The other option, if we decided to wait one more cycle, would be, you can see right here, my period would be around July 20th. 
we would conceive around August 3rd and due date would be end of April. John and I talked about it and we decided we were gonna start trying first week of July. So if we conceive right away, it'll be very exciting. We'll be due end of March and that is kind of like the thought process behind all of this. Like I said, I'm a planner so if we do conceive right away. I'll kind of have an idea of how things will flow. Of course we know it is in God's hands, but that is what I did to prepare and kind of calculate things out, which I know is not for everybody. <laughs> this is just something that like gives me peace of mind and it helps me like really think things through. So with that being said, if we start trying, I would find out probably first week of August if we were pregnant, usually you don't find out until your next cycle, so probably end of July is when we would find out. So that is very exciting because that could be super, super, super soon. It's kind of nerve wracking, but overall, very exciting. Of course, we will keep you up to date. So that is what I am doing to prepare for pregnancy. I know it's a bit much. We're really excited to share this with you guys. I hope this is information that you guys enjoy and that it helps you with your planning. If you're thinking about having a kid or like, in the future, different things like that. There is a lot of resources. I highly recommend you do a lot of research on your prenatals, talk to your doctors, talk to midwives, do your own research. Like I said, folate is a great natural version than folic acid because that's a synthetic version. There's a lot of natural ways you can go about it and that is really up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Drop below in the comments if you have questions. I hope to do a Q&A soon if you guys have any questions. Obviously, we're not pregnant right now as my cramps are telling me that I'm not pregnant because my stomach is killing me, my back's killing me from my period. Like I said, TMI, that is all. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. I've been trying to post weekly. Let me know how you guys prepared for pregnancy. Did you guys do anything special? Did you take prenatals? Did you calculate out things like a crazy person like I did? Did you just kind of wing it? What did you guys do? I'm really curious because I know everybody's pregnancy story is super different and unique and beautiful and wonderful. And that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.